is a psychic development reading for the seeker. Okay, so I only have two crystals this time for this reading. I'm going to go ahead and surround us in some protective space, like always. You're a little resistant right now to uh, the energy coming towards you. You go a little back and forth right now with being very resistant to spiritual things. Um, I know you you didn't you didn't exactly say that in your email. I mean, Feeling this, then I can kind of say, okay, I like maybe I could kind of see that in in the email that you sent from from what you said, but still, I wouldn't have thought of that in this way until um, I'm actually feeling these energies. It feels like you really, really close off, and then you kind of open up again. But this just feels like really a, a thought form almost trying to push you off of your path. Because that's the thing about thought forms, they just don't want to leave. You know, they, um, they like where they are, they feel very comfortable, and they don't like the idea of leaving. They don't like the idea of transforming, um, and they definitely don't like the idea of going back to unconscious energy and sort of losing their existence, losing their consciousness, losing their expression of who they think that they are. It feels like your brothers are a huge part of your life and family in general. Family always comes up during your readings. And I see some pretty big, thick cords to them. I feel like later on, I feel like you're going to move on. Um, and you're really not going to be around these people anymore. I feel like that's something um, that you, you've you got to incorporate in your mind, it feels like. Um, you can't let these attachments rule you, it feels like. Um, it doesn't feel like these people are good for you um, in like a positive way. What it does feel like they're good for is it feels like you learn lessons as you are around them. You have to incorporate certain things about who you are. You have to come to certain understandings about yourself, and they sort of force you to do that. Um, but it also feels like they make it very difficult for you. Um, it is very difficult for you to kind of see yourself in, in the midst of this... Um, family that you have and the fact that you're so tied to them. And I definitely don't feel like this is the only lifetime that you've had with members of this current family. Um, I don't feel like all of them you've had past lives with, but I definitely feel like a significant amount you've had past lives with as well. So I feel like you're very, very connected to these people, but it feels like Mostly in a harmful way. It feels like these are connections that you need to break. Now, obviously, you're going to do that slowly, and you're going to do that as you're able to, and there are still lessons that you are learning. But what I'm saying is that um, what your guides are saying is that eventually you are going to move um, 
out of these attachments. You're going to be free of these attachments. You're going to break free of them. And then physically, you're going to step away from these people um, where you are in physical contact with them very little. Um, and, and to the point where even not at all, um, where you have very very little physical contact with them where you rarely see them in a physical sense um, but it's gonna start getting even more and more where you don't talk to them even on the phone um, or through email you have less energy exchanges with these people than than you do now it's gonna get to that point like a lot less than you do now um, it's gonna get to that point where you rarely see them in a physical way and then even where you rarely even talk to them on the phone because you just so um i feel like you you don't even really understand how much the connections harm you um but it also feels like right now you have to have them so it doesn't it feels like you almost have to break free from these cords and these thought forms and things that sort of bind you together before you would be able to move free of them. But, you know, a while back, there was that one brother of yours and you, you did that reading with the two of you. And I know that with that reading, I could so feel that you really wanted your guides to say and you wanted me to say, um... You were asking, like, do you have the same path? You know, like, are you going to be together on your path and this type of thing? And I could so clearly feel that you really wanted your guides to say yes. You really wanted me to say yes. But obviously, I just could not do that because that isn't what your guides were saying. Your guides were specifically saying, no, um, you have your own path. Your brother has his own path and you have to let him walk down it. And it just felt like you have to let go of these people. You know, um, there's there's this thing. I'm going to show you these crystals really quick just because I'm setting this one down. So I have my green fluorite, my citrine, okay? Um, so this is calming, healing, grounding, heart chakra. This is solar plexus. It's really um, coming into yourself, your self-identity, self-empowerment, knowing who you are. Um, grounding, again, um, so there's this thing, this, this was coming up, um, as I was getting ready to do your, your reading, um, something that your guides were really, um, strongly coming through with, uh, so how do I, how do I say this exactly? Cause I want to, you know, I want to interpret the, the energy, right? Um, Okay. There's this, there's so many attachments to these people, you know, and, and for different reasons. Okay. So we can talk about some of the different reasons. One of them though, this this one is is something that your guides were really bringing up is that you can't be like them it's like for some reason they have this really detrimental thing that they put on you all the time um trying to convince you of how wrong you are um how they are certain that you are just you are not right you're not right about anything you are wrong about everything they don't see anything the way that you see it and you need to see it that way too they really have they're very opinionated um and it's like they can be very passionate about their their opinions and um they can kind of pull you into that and so then there's almost this kind of grappling and this this like struggle for power um which which comes up in a lot of your readings too like especially with your father um and different male figures but with your mother too 
um and and even you know females in your family like i, I don't know if you have like female siblings but it, with them as well it feels like also i would say especially with your brothers but but still um if you have sisters, it feels like that as well. It feels like females as well. Your mother as well. Um, it's like they're constantly trying to prove to you um, that they are up here and you are down here. Um, and, and, you know, when you constantly have that coming at you and from family, um, then there can be this tendency to lash out and to give that back to them. Um, no, I'm a vegan and I'm right. You need to stop eating meat, you know? So it's like, then there's, then there's this, um, it's like they're putting that out you don't be a vegan or whatever it's about, you know, don't do, don't do spiritual studies. That's bizarre or that's retarded or whatever it is. Um, and then on the other hand, you're like, oh uh, no, I'm right. You need to be more spiritual. Um, and this actually attaches you to these people to get into these arguments and, and like how they, they need to be right all the time. And your guides are saying that on your own, you don't feel that way. You really don't. You don't feel like you need to be right. You don't actually have that problem or that issue, but it's just their energy. You know, when you, um, when you step into that energy, right? When you step into that energy, then it's like, it kind of starts taking over because you have all of these cords and then all of this energy just comes towards you like this. And it's like, no, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. And it's like coming into you like this. And then you end up kind of operating out of it. And you're, and it's like you end up being the same way. And then all that does is pull you even more into their energy. And you end up feeling even more wrong because you could never possibly convince them that they're wrong and that you're right. But they could never possibly convince you either. And so it's like, both of you are feeling like you're right and everyone else is wrong. And again, your guides are saying that that isn't your energy. That isn't your energy on your own. But it's that um, these energies from these people around you are so strong and so intense. And it just kind of pulls you into it. It's like they pull you into this vibration. That's... That's why your guides are saying that, that it's very detrimental uh, to be around these people. Um, and they're just saying that you don't need to be like them um, or give in to these charges, even though they're saying that they know that it's really hard. Um, like, it would be great if you could, like, sit there and just meditate when you're around them and around these people, you know? Um, and just like be in your own space and feel really zen um, and confident that you are right. You know, you are right and you don't need to prove it to them. That's for you to know. So it doesn't matter if they think that you are right. Um, if they don't think that you're right, if they have an opinion about you in any way, um, that's their opinion and it doesn't affect you. It actually only affects them. As weird as that sounds, they can put all this energy at you and towards you and then it seems like their opinion affects you. Um, but all that energy is doing is affecting themselves. Um, And as long as you don't put energy back towards it, then it really doesn't affect you at all. It doesn't, it doesn't have to affect you in any way. It doesn't have to change your mood. It doesn't have to change your confidence level. It doesn't have to make you unsure. 
It doesn't have to do any of those things. You can feel really at peace around those people, like like the like the green Florida is saying. You know, you can feel calm, you can feel whole, you can feel grounded and secure, no matter who you're around or what they are saying. It feels like it doesn't matter what they're saying. You listen to you and your own voice and you are unique and you have a different path from them that they cannot control um, because that's another thing that your guides are saying is also that they like to try and control others, especially family members. They want to be in control. They want everybody to be the same and the same way and to all fit in and you just don't. And that's a really good thing. And on one sense, on the one hand, you are there to, to show them that, but just by being who you are. But it feels like you're going to be, you're going to show them that even more, um, by not giving in to all of their their pulls on these strings that you have attached to them. And that's what's going to break the, the cords by beginning to really trust yourself and your guidance to the point where nothing that they say, nothing that they throw at you can affect you. And you're totally confident and calm and non-reactive. And they can tell um, that they're not getting through to you, that they're not um, hurting you, that they aren't, um, they aren't making you feel insecure. They aren't making you feel reactive. It feels like they like to pull these emotions out of you. And I feel like you have to be aware of that. And it's just like this power play, this um, way of being in control. And it feels like you have to be aware of that. It feels like a lot of this back and forth um, with this spiritual stuff, it really goes back to them and what they think of you and what they're constantly saying and putting towards you um, and how you feel like other people see you and how you feel like other people feel about you. And your guides are saying that it's really important to just not care. You know, it just feels like that's them and, and it's their issue. It really isn't your issue. So it, it just can start feeling like, oh, I'm so this and I'm so that. And like the problem is you. Um, but really it is their issue, you know, it, it's them. So that's really something to be aware of and to, to take to heart. Um, when they're saying all this stuff, they're only affecting themselves. And as long as you don't play into it, play into that, that energy, buy into that energy or agree with that energy, um, it doesn't affect you and it doesn't affect you anyway. You know, it doesn't actually affect you. If you connect to yourself, you know that you are not affected in any way by these people or their comments about you. Um, or any energies that they're directing towards you with their feelings or their thoughts or their words or their actions. Um, so it's about connecting to yourself. Your real self doesn't feel reactive. Even if it responds, um, it's not in a way that will trigger more of that. 
it's in a way that will dispel that. It might set a boundary, um, but I feel like it would set a more permanent one. And that is what you're going to end up doing more slowly over time. You're going to start setting permanent boundaries um, that they really can't step over and they're going to know that that's going to become more loud and clear to them that they can't control you they can't um send you all these energies and the reason that your guides are bringing this up um so much is that this is the one thing that hinders you more than anything else with this back and forth stuff of i'm going to be spiritual one day uh, and not spiritual the next. And it's like I can't handle being spiritual for too long. But it's not that you can't handle being spiritual. Or that you can't handle your own self. Like what? what is spirituality? Being spiritual. You are a spirit. It's being yourself. That's something Wolf always says. That's, that's true. And they're reminding me of it. Um, that's very true. You are a spirit. So spirituality means becoming more yourself. That's what it is. There's definitely nothing wrong with becoming more yourself, being more in tune with yourself. That's all that you are attempting to do. There's nothing wrong with that. But they just, they don't see it that way. Um, they see it more as losing yourself. But what your guides are saying is that it doesn't matter how they see it. Like, you've got to get to the point where you really don't care, you know? Where you can just say, I don't care, and really mean it. That you effing don't care. You know, you've got to get to that point where you don't give a fuck. That's, that's really, um, like, that's how your guys want me to put it in, like, a very strong way. You do not give a fuck. You do not give a shit um, how any of these people think about you, you know? Um, they can go think whatever they want to about each other, about themselves, they can all buy into that and have a, you know, power play party with each other <laughs> over there, okay? And you are in your zen zone and you don't fucking care. You are in your zen zone, you don't fucking care and you're not affected, okay? You're not negatively affected. You need to get to the point where you can see these people and you can watch them, even if they're saying something about you, and you can feel so zen and peaceful and calm and non-reactive that you feel literally like you are seeing it from another angle, almost like you're a guide observing it. Um, and then you know that you are, you're out of it. You're unaffected by it. Even if it's present around you, you're not in the same space as it. You're not in the same emotional environment as them. Even if you're physically there, you're not being affected by things in the way that they are or in the way that they want you to be. So you're not in the same space. And once you get there, um, physically, you're going to end up more and more not in the same space with them. You're going to end up pulling out physically as well. The more that I feel like first it's going to be mental. Your beliefs are going to start to change. Then you're going to work on the emotional more and then that's going to start to really pull away. Um, and then the physical is going to end up thirdly pulling away as well. And it feels like that's just going to be the way it falls. That's just going to happen. Um, there's nothing that they can do about that. And they're just not going to be able to control you anymore because they don't affect you anymore.
but this is even them affecting your path, you know? Um, like you feel drawn or called to do something and the way that they are, it's like you can't allow them to change your mind um, about what you think you should do, you know, or who you think you are. And it's not about being arrogant or better or any of those things, as you know. It's not because you are better. Again, you don't have that on your own. You know, you don't have this need to prove yourself or this need to be better. Um, you don't have that. That's coming from them. And they put that on you because they really need that themselves for some reason. So it feels like you just need to let them be in their own world, their own vibration. And you need to get to the point where you master being in your own vibration so much and filled with your own confidence and your own inner peace that this outer struggle around you and this struggle for power and control around you and this power, this um, struggle for like one-upmanship and how they're going to be better than everybody else um, or they're going to be less than everyone else. It's, it's like um, it's like they gain power by making somebody else feel disempowered. Um, so obviously that isn't a true power at all. That's a fear and that's an illusion of, of power. It's a false power. Um, it's not real at all. And so that means that they really don't have any power over you. But that's why your guides are bringing this up so intensely because it's actually going into the area of your path. You know, your, what you're going to do for your life and your career, you know, um, even who you're going to be with or when you're going to be with them and all, all these things, you know, um, you can't let them control that. The reason that your guides are saying even who you're going to be with is because the person that you're going to end up with is going to come to you by the spiritual path that that you follow um, and not following that or following that is really going to determine whether or not you find that person and you will you're going to end up following this um, to begin with you're going to end up following this no matter what you do no matter what it feels like it's your calling and you just really know it so intensely that even if you break away even if you break away for a little while, eventually you're just like, screw it. I'm spiritual. I'm a spiritual person and I can't really help that. I can't really change that or do anything about it. So I might as well just fucking accept it. <laughs> Yeah, your guides are saying that you just need to accept who you are, even if it's unacceptable to them. Because it really isn't about them. You know, it's your life. It's your life. And you can't let them decide that for you. This, this is your life. This is your life seeker this is your life you have to realize you have to realize that it's your life and be be empowered by that nobody can take that away from you it's it's not about them it's not about what they think you know who cares what they think because it isn't about that it isn't about what they think 
It isn't about what they're putting towards you, about the decisions that you make. You don't even have to tell them the decisions um, that you make. Even if they ask you, lie, even make up something. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to give them that. You don't have to. Um, I know lying sounds bad or that sounds, you know, extreme, but the point is, um, don't tell them things that you really don't feel to say. Really, don't tell them things that you really don't feel to say. And so, yeah, it feels like if that, if that in that case means that you, that you have to lie, that you got to say something else, then it really feels like do it. Don't just, don't just, um, I know that sounds bad, but no, it feels like, um, don't say things that you don't want to say. And it, it feels like um, give them what they're putting out and don't, uh, don't give yourself away. Don't give yourself away. It just really feels like don't just put everything out there for them to see. It feels like they're going to use it. Um, it feels like they're going to use it in a negative way and they're actually going to try and, and hurt you with it in a sense, like emotionally. And, um, make you feel lower. Now, these are patterns that they have so intensely. So this isn't, they don't love you, um... They're, uh, they're abusive, but it's not like they're trying to be abusive. And you know that. Um, that's even another part of the reason that the attachments are still there. Because you do know that. You see that. Um, they're your family and they do actually care about you. But um, because of all these programmings that they have... Um, it's difficult for them to handle you. Because you don't have those same programmings. They've seen you step out of them and then they just think you've lost their mind, your mind. You know, they don't, they don't know how to, um, they don't, they don't really know how to fit that into their world in a sense. But it feels like they're not really going to later on. It feels like you're going to move more out of that. And your guides, you know, they're saying, they're not saying any of this stuff to, to cut them down. Um, they're not saying, they're definitely not saying any of this to cut you down. Definitely not. Um, they're, they're saying all this to encourage you and, and lift you up and, and make you feel more empowered. Give you more tools to, to help you to get into this Zen space, to understand where certain things come from. Like even this back and forth to understand, um... This is really about what other people think of you. And that's why they're saying it's so important that you don't let them direct your life. You know, that you that you set boundaries and, and in a strong way. That's why they were saying, even if it means that you have to lie, you know, that you don't give everything away. That's in, in a case like this, that's fine. Um, because you... You don't want to go too far in just giving your yourself away you have to you have to respect your own personal space you don't have to tell them all of your decisions or or all the the details of of your life that that you don't want to or maybe that you don't feel to and you need to respect your personal space that's something that i that there's a feeling like they really don't do is respect boundaries and space they just they kind of walk over boundaries um and so you have to set them very strongly but at the same time um in kind of a polite way and not a triggering way where 
you're going to react and, and everybody's going to get fired up and really reactive, which it feels like is really easy to happen. It feels like that's really easy for them to do. And in some cases, really easy for you to do as well. Um, but just understand that these are their programmings. They have them very intensely. Um, you're with these, this family that you have a lot of attachment to, but your guides are saying that they're not your soul family. Um, they are um, your human family. You know, you came here with them for certain reasons. Um, but it feels like eventually you're going to have to um, incorporate the idea that you'll have to let them go. I don't feel like they're coming with you, you know, um, on your process. They're not going to be coming with you. And you know what I mean by that, too. Um, not just your spiritual journey, but all the things that you're planning on doing um, for yourself in a higher way and how you are planning on, on evolving physically, um, emotionally, mentally, but physically as well, energetically, I don't feel like they are going to evolve in the same way. So you're going to end up letting go of them either way. And I feel like that's just something to incorporate versus trying to push them to grab on to what you're doing. And it's like that's almost your attempt to try and hold on to them. But it just feels like you can't. That would literally be impossible. So we don't like to feel alone. Nobody likes to feel alone. Um, But as you let go of these attachments, um, you're going to end up finding your soul family. That's going to happen more and more. But you have to step into who you are more and you have to learn these certain lessons with this family that you have right now. And they are there for, for a reason. And they are loving. But they're also um, very controlling, very fearful, and detrimental in, in some ways, in a lot of ways. <laughs> and it's not even that they're meaning to be that way, obviously. Um, it's that they don't understand what they're operating out of. That's really, that's really the, the core issue there. But the thing that your guides are saying is that you can't fix that. You can't fix them. Um, it feels like they're always going to be that way. Um, even if it doesn't mean that they won't change at all, but it feels like it's going to come from them, the changes that they do make and the way that they do progress. But mostly it feels like um, in this lifetime, They've pretty much chosen this path that they're on and they're going to keep, you know, um, the, it feels like the high majority of their programming. So they're going to keep them and it doesn't, it just doesn't feel like you can do anything about that. So. Um, yeah, they're saying, um, beating a dead horse. That's, uh, that's, that's how we say it in the West. We say beating a dead horse. Um, and the horse can't move. It's dead. It's not going to go. You know, you can take your stick and, or your whip and you can, uh, you can keep trying to get the horse to move forward, but it's not going to listen to you. It's, it's deaf, it can't hear you, you know, it's mute, it can't speak. 
and uh, it's lame. It can't move forward because it's dead. It, it can't. And they're not saying they're dead, obviously, but they're just giving that that analogy, like um, you know, it. You're pushing something that won't happen. In other words, you're trying to force something that can't be forced. So they're saying to, to just um, give up and, and to, to let go because it doesn't serve you. And um, then you're going to step more into your own energy and you're going to remove these cords that you have to them. And you're going to notice um, that a lot of your fears go away. Um, a lot of the issues that you are battling with aren't your own. And you're going to find that they really disappear and they fall away. Because it feels like you didn't give them to yourself. Um, you incorporated them. You may have, to various degrees, agreed with them. Um, in some areas, but but still, it feels like the majority of them are not so agreed with that when you really pull back from these from these energies and step into your own, that you're you're going to have them. It just it feels like you're you're not going to have the the majority of them. The, the high majority of them you're not going to have when you just step out of their energy and you really step into your own. So I feel like as we're having our sessions, um, that's those are going to be some of the, the techniques that your guides are going to want to give you and to bring up. It's going to be about you stepping into your own energy, um, you feeling safe to be who you are, you feeling secure to be yourself. Your unique self. And also realizing that you're going to do this path anyway. Um, and that isn't their choice. And it feels like these energies, you know, they come towards you and they can feel really overwhelming, but your guides are saying to disconnect from those because they aren't really yours. You don't actually have confusion, um, about your choice. You don't actually have this confusion, um, like... Is my life really about being spiritual? Is that really what I'm going to do with myself or my career? Is this really what I'm going to be doing? Um, yes. And deep down, you definitely know that. And even consciously, um, to a degree, you, you know that. They're saying to a degree because when you're in that state, it feels like it kind of goes down some, but you still know it even in that state consciously. Um, you know that you're going to end up choosing that. Um, and it feels like there's almost a feeling like that can actually feel kind of annoying sometimes that you know you have to choose that, that that in and of itself can sometimes bring up kind of a negative emotion, but that's only because of what these people are putting towards you, what their thoughts and their emotions about that are. Um, so that's not a negative feeling that you have yourself, in other words, towards that, towards the things that you want to be doing, that you're going to be doing. It's these family members um, these people around you put that towards you and with these significant cords that you have to them, the significant amount of cords and even how like 
big they are, how massive they are, um, a lot of energy can come to you from them. It can feel like yours. You know, you can feel like you're making a decision based off what you are feeling. Yeah, your guides are reminding me, gosh, about a reading quite a while back that I had with you where they were talking about your origin and they were talking about that the place where you originate is actually a more mental place. You're actually more mental, which wouldn't really seem that way in this lifetime because um, you've stepped into this family. They're very emotional, but also you wanted to um, incorporate that to um, you, you've had a lot of lives where you were exploring, um, emotions, you were exploring your emotional body and learning to really flow with that and incorporate that. And in some ways you, you resonate with that more. Um, but you do originate from a place that does carry a more mental energy, a more logical still intuitive, but a logical intuitive energy versus an emotional intuitive energy. And you've stepped into this um, family where yes, you can explore those emotions, um, not only positive ones, negative ones too. And you can learn how to really harness um, a secure, calm, peaceful, zen kind of energy and feeling when you are in the midst of that, or even, even when you're in the midst of it, but from chords where the energy is coming towards you, even if they're not physically around you. And that can be a little confusing, you know, because they're not there. So it can feel like it's coming from you but you really are picking up on, on energies coming towards you. And you're going to interpret it um, about things that are relevant to you. So, you know, they could be feeling intense emotions about other things. And I feel like they, they do feel a lot of emotions. Most, most days I feel like they, they feel a lot of emotions and that they, they're very emotional. Um, and that's not a bad thing in and of itself to, to be very emotional. Um, but you can be very emotional um, and not very programmed. And, and there's a difference. So as you're exploring these emotions and as you're around very emotional people and as you're in this lifetime um, where it's like you're the only one who is this way in your family. And so that can almost bring up this, this vulnerable feeling. Um, and it can bring up an insecure feeling as well. It's not, it's not a bad thing really to be vulnerable. Um, but they also kind of mean it as in, like an insecure feeling or like you're open to attack in a sense because you're unique and you're different and you are like this in a family where nobody else really is and they're not really open or accepting of it. But as you're in the midst of all of that and you're exploring these emotions, remember that you do come from a place where you are more logically based. You're more logically intuitive more logical, intuitive based. And that's more your, your mindset in the place where you originate. And so they feel like that's something that will help you and that can empower you to help you learn, um, to calm down and to be a little bit more 
in your head, in your mind, and feel like you're detaching more from the emotions. And again, when you're detaching, you're going to actually start detaching from these cords. They're going to actually start falling off of you. The more that you emotionally and mentally detach and then physically detach as well because there's not going to be all this energy um, to hold on to. It's just going to be you're not affected and so they're not going to feel like they're getting as much out of it. You're not going to either because your guides are saying, believe it or not, you both feel like you are getting something out of it. It's like there are all these energies that aren't solved. You know, they're still up in the air. Um, they're not coming to a conclusion. And so it's like you have to come to this conclusion of who you are in the midst of all of it. And then these attachments are going to start to to fall away and you're going to realize that you don't need them anymore you're going to know who you are um no matter what is happening no matter what's going on you're you in the midst of all of it and you're zen you're you are calm you know and you are self-assured and you don't need anybody else's approval. And it doesn't matter what they think. And you don't fucking care what they think or what they feel about you. And that's just their business. And it's only affecting them. And it's their choice to be affected in, in that way. Even to be affected in that way by you and the way that you are being. Um, you're not putting anything out in a way of you want to affect them badly or affect them at all. You're just being you, you know. Um, so that's what you've got to learn. You've got to learn to just do you, just be you, just do you, and just let that go, and don't care about it, you know, don't attach to their feelings about you, don't feel attached to their feelings about you, to their thoughts about you, to whether or not they encourage what you're doing, or they discourage what you're doing or they discourage you from being who you are or they compliment you about who you are um right now you're you're very attached to to their opinions of you so just really really be aware of that because it's harming you it's it's harmful you know for you to have that because it, uh, then they're able to sway you when it comes to the decisions for your own life that you're going to make. And that's why it's harmful. So just be in your Zen space. Really practice being in your Zen space. No matter what, no matter what, that's what you're really going to start mastering. That's what they really, that's what they want. That's what they want from you. That's, that's what your guides really want to see. That's really what they're encouraging you to do because that's going to help you. That's going to help you step into your own space um, and in your own time, you know, this is a progression. You're not just going to master being in your own space immediately and they know that, you know, and they're fine with that. 
They already know that. So um, they're not expecting you to just suddenly never have a reaction, you know, anymore. They're not just expecting it to just go away. No, they're talking about big attachments and you have to get rid of these big attachments. So it feels like this is going to take time. You know, this is going to take some time. It's going to take some effort on your part, not on theirs. <laughs> they're not going to put any effort in. Um, so you have to understand that it's only going to come from you and on your end. And it really isn't about them. It's about how you are like in the midst of those energies no matter how they're being so it isn't about how they are being or about changing how they're being in any way because you can't anyway like they said it's just about mastering how you're being um no matter what's happening around you no matter what anybody is saying feeling thinking whatever Okay, so that is all that your guides have to say for this reading. So thank you so much, The Seeker, for allowing me to do this reading for you. I truly hope that this benefits you. I'm definitely looking forward to our sessions in the future. Thank you very much. Namaste.